Shut up with those goddamn clumsy noises, sucker! Misophenia. Hey everyone, throughout my whole life I have hated many different sounds. But I thought that I was just strange because whenever I mentioned it to people, they were like, Oh, Jack, you are so weird. So I finally found out the name for this, and it's misophenia. You may be thinking, what the f misophenia is a selective sound sensitive is a sense Misophenia is a selective sound sensitivity syndrome. What? A bloody tongue twister? Which basically means I get annoyed at noises, and these noises that I absolutely hate get amplified in my ears, and all I can hear is these annoying noises that I don't like. Annoying, right? I'm gonna tell you what it's like living with this, and I'm gonna tell you about the noises that annoy me. And if you have misophenia, at the end of the video, I've got some tips to help you block out that annoying noise that you just don't like. If there's any noises that annoy you, leave a comment in the comment section below and if there's anything that you want to know after watching this video, I'll get back to you if you leave a comment. Living with misophenia is so aggravating. It stops me from having normal interactions in certain circumstances. It makes me feel extremely uncomfortable and can make me feel like shouting at someone for the noises they are making. The other day I was in the queue in the post office and this lizard looking guy who was listening to heavy metal was slapping his lips like Ugh. and he was wearing headphones so he didn't know how loud or how often he was doing this he wasn't eating anything he was just slapping his lips do you want some water as you can imagine, one of the biggest problems for me is loudness when eating. If someone's slapping their lips, making a lot of noise, or speaking with their mouth full, it's just so unbearable. When I was younger, I always got told, don't speak with your mouth full, and don't eat loudly. The funny thing is, my parents both do this, and on the occasion, my mum's like, We might stay the sisters over the weekend, but we're not that sure. My dad always eats like it's his last meal, and he's only got one minute to eat it. When someone is eating crisps around me, I'm like, Get out the door now! Actually, the door's pretty far away. Get out the window. Go on, go on, go! But luckily, because I'm a pretty calm guy, I quickly think like this. Let's tone it down a little. They don't know what you're going through. Um, excuse me, do you mind not eating so loudly? Oh, thank you. It's the most annoying thing ever. Another crunching sound that affects me is the sound of walking on snow. Something about this makes it so unbearable for me. And I don't like snow because of it. Winter is coming. I know and I'm dreading it. Last year there was no snow, so that's all good. Fingers crossed for this year. Another sound is freezer trays. Ah, oh, God. This sound makes me goose pimply all over. It doesn't make me angry, it's just tormenting. If you are a heavy breather or you have a whistly nostril, we cannot be friends. Okay, maybe over messages, but not in person. You know, for your safety. I used to take the bus to work before I drove, and this guy with a whistly nostril would always come and sit next to me. Excuse me, mate, do you mind shutting the hell up? God! So I've learned to cope with these noises by using music. So having headphones on you is super useful. But if you forget whatever you play music on, just get your headphones out, put them on, and it will drown out some of the sound. If you're having a meal with someone at your house and they're an aggravating eater, obviously you can't put headphones on. Uh, so you're actually gonna speak to me this meal, or...? So put on the radio or put on the TV, and if you don't wanna tell them why, just say it's for ambience. This will drown out some of the sounds, and just try and concentrate on the music or the TV. I hope this has helped you understand misophenia a bit more and how to cope with it too. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new. Until next time, swish out. Make sure you subscribe. Oh, yeah.